Hey guys, this is my review of the Art Clean Box Pro. Um, right off the bat, I want to just start by saying, answering a question that I had before I bought this, which was, can I use it in reverse and forward at the same time? And the answer is yes. You see here, there's two knobs. They each say stereo output level, stereo output level. These are four channels in total. One, two, three, four. So right off the bat, I just wanted to answer that question because um, I know that I had that when I was looking to buy this. So what that means basically is that you can go two balanced in to ba unbalanced out and then two balanced in to two balanced out at the same time. They can they work completely separate from each other. So the, both of these schematics at the bottom, they run at the same time. Really quickly, I wanted to talk about the difference between, um, just very quickly, I want to talk th about the difference between plus four dBU and minus 10 dBV. And the difference is really just the voltage measuring standard, similar to how Fahrenheit and Celsius are different. Um, they're both measuring temperature, but they're just doing it on a different scale. So that's what the difference is uh, of these two measurements. Consumer level stuff is gonna use minus 10 dBV, and then pro stuff is gonna use plus four dBU. So what that means is that if you have a consumer product like a phone or a laptop or anything like that, it's going to be using the 10 dBV. So when you plug that straight into something that's looking for a plus 4 dBU input, it's basically like taking water from this small hose that's at full pressure and connecting it directly to this larger hose. What's going to happen is that there's not going to be much signal coming through the 4 dB, and then the rest of that signal is going to just be noise. So when you turn up the signal that's come, that came in, your level's gonna be quiet and you're gonna hear more noise. So the purpose of this is to convert, I guess, let's see, it says it right here. Yeah, converter, convert pro to consumer or consumer to pro. So I'm gonna give some examples of what I'm talking about. So for the first example, you have a song on your phone and you wanna connect that to your computer to record it. You also have an interface, a, some kind of interface like this, you know, Scarlet interface here, which uses pro version of the audio signal, which would be the plus four dB for inputs and outputs on the back as well. So if I were to plug this directly into, if I were to plug my phone directly into the focus, right, there would be some extra noise um, in this signal. So if you're trying to maybe get something from YouTube on your phone or something like that, uh, that will introduce extra noise. So you'll want to use a cleaning box like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the 3.5 millimeter jack into the phone. And then what I'm going to do on the back of here is plug this into the unbalanced input. And then, so it's coming in, it's going to get converted and then it needs to come back out. So that's where this would be the balanced output. So I'm going to take an XLR cable unbalanced output one and I'm going to plug it into input one on the scarlet and remember these are line level signals these are not mic level signals so in your settings of the focus right it'll ask I believe it'll ask you might just need to use the gain knob but um, I wanted to do I wanted to show this as well basically um, you should this should be a line input not a mic input now if the focus right or whatever your interface is doesn't give you that option to change this, sometimes it'll just see an XLR going in and assume that it's mic level. So what you want to do is you want to get something like this. It's it, it's, it works the exact same way as uh, XLR to XLR. Uh, they both have three connectors. Um, the only difference is that again, your interface it might only allow you a mic input, which sometimes they'll engineer these things to where if you turn the gain all the way down, it acts the same way. So there's that to think about as well. You, if, if this is all you have, you should try it. And if you're getting more noise than, some, than you would like, maybe try getting something like this instead. All right, so there's there we go. Now we have a signal that isn't noisy and it's correct. And if we need to change volumes, we can do that on the front here. So um, that would be one scenario. Another scenario, which is the reason why I bought this in the first place, you'd wanna do the opposite of what we just did. So I have cheap monitors to um, use to, for my mixes and things like that. So what I got was a pair of these. 
computer speakers and I, I love them. They're great. Um, but they are consumer level speakers, meaning they're the minus 10 dBV and this outputs pro dBU. So it was important that I level matched this correctly because if not, I was going to get extra noise. Now this brings me to a point that I wanted to make about why I bought the art versus something from radial because radial is an awesome company. They have boxes that are specific. So I could have bought a box that was specifically to go from the pro model to the speakers, but I didn't because it was uh, like 250, maybe $200 where this was maybe $70 when I bought it and it's 90 now, but it was about 70 or 80 when I bought it. The reason being that I went with this instead of the more high end uh, radio version was because I was using them for these speakers, which aren't the best speakers. They're really cheap speakers. So the speakers were like 20, $30. I didn't want to spend $200 just on the converter alone. I mean, if you buy the radio, you'll have it forever. It'll outlive you, but I'm taking good care of this thing. I would say uh, I haven't noticed noise from this thing, but I would bet a pretty penny that this is more noisy than the radio box. So if you're really, really particular about that and you have the extra cash, maybe go with radio. Um, and they also have boxes to do what we did in our first example. So you could buy a box that'll take consumer level and convert it to pro level audio. Um, again, way more expensive, but um, I suppose going in the input, it, I could see it being a lot more valuable that way. All right, so then now what we wanna do is I wanna get audio to here from my interface. So I'm simply just going to go line out left into balanced in because these are loud pro balanced outs. I haven't talked about balanced versus unbalanced, but if you're gonna be using pro level stuff, it's gonna be balanced. And if you're gonna be using consumer level stuff, it's gonna be unbalanced usually. Get one here. And there we go. So we have outputs going to the inputs and then we need to get this to the speaker. I'm also gonna get my cable back like this, my 3.5 millimeter. I'm gonna go unbalanced output this time instead of input. And then that's just gonna go straight into the speaker. You can be, you can adjust volume on here if you need to, if this, this isn't working for you. I usually would just turn this up all the way and then either adjust this or adjust um, the volume in the computer. Um, so yeah, that's another example of what you can do. Again, I wanted to emphasize like I did in the beginning of the video, I can also take the output from my phone or my laptop, my friend's laptop maybe, and plug this in. While all these cables are plugged in with the speaker and the focus right, I can also plug in my phone at the same time to the unbalanced input uh, or the unbalanced input here as well. And then send a, basically a separate stereo channel through this box at the same time. So they'll work together and you can adjust the level separately. So I wanted to drive that point home because I think that is so cool. It, it's, it does two things in one. They, it always get, it gets advertised as a two channel level converter. It's a four channel level converter two stereo channel level converter, but four mono channel level converter. I wanted to very, very briefly touch on balanced versus unbalanced. Balanced connections will have three points of connection per channel, one, two, three, where unbalanced will have two. It'll have a ground and it'll have another point. Unbalanced is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically just, you're sending your signal through from one end to the other. The issue is, is that with unbalanced cables, and especially with the longer the cable is, the worse this gets, is that there's electromagnetic uh, interference just in the air at all times, and it'll actually affect the, um, you'll pick up noise. Sometimes you, some people have claimed to hear the radio. Um, that's happened to me with poor cables. If your cell phone's too close, it can pick up that did it, did it, did it, did it sound. The longer the cable length is, the more of it an antenna that it acts like to pick up all that information. What a balanced cable will do, so that's the unbalanced. What a balanced cable will do is it'll send two versions of the same signal down the cable, it'll uh, flip the phase on one of the signals, meaning that you'll get opposite um, patterns of the signal going through the cable. And they'll both pick up noise along the way, but what it'll do when it gets to the other end then is it will, uh, I said opposite patterns of the same signal. What it'll do is it'll combine those opposite patterns and what you're left with is uh, a cancellation of the noise that was picked up along the way. Again, terrible explanation. Go look it up on YouTube, balance versus unbalanced. If you don't know, it's not that hard to get once it's explained correctly to you. 
So another thing that I wanted to quickly mention, something that I don't know and I'm not able to test right now, so I won't be able to tell you, is what happens if you plug in the RCA and the 3.5 millimeter jack at the same time? That I'm not sure what's, what happens. Um, do, do, they, do they work together at the same time? Does one of them cancel the other one out? When you plug something into it, there's a chance that's there's a there's a mechanism in here that once you push this in far enough it will un unhook the unbalanced output. I could see that being a very likely scenario. And then um, lastly, I've read about this being used as a direct box. It is not technically a direct box in the sense uh, that you would use one from going from guitar to mixer or from you know mixer to guitar amp, like a reamp box or anything like that. But I have seen it used that way online. I've read forms where people use it for that reason and it seems to work well for them, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would try to get a, a, an actual DI box if I could. Again, so just wrapping up, this thing is pretty awesome. I like it a lot. I'm glad I got it over the radio just, just because I saved some money and there was no real point in me um, going for an high -end, a high-end piece when I was dealing mostly with um, consumer level inputs and outputs. This thing, I've seen reviews from this from 2013 and they still sell it. Um, so there's, the only difference would be the design change maybe. I mean, the components inside, the idea of what this is will never change. So this this isn't a piece of technology that goes out of style or anything like that. You could have this for your for the rest of your life as long as XLR cables, RCA cables, and 3.5 millimeter jacks are gonna be in um, the use in things. 